Okay, uh, so today we're going to begin with um, something called the lytic cycle. It's, um, it's basically when uh, a virus takes over all of the metabolic activities of the cell. So the steps of a lytic cycle um, begin as follows. So step one, um, basically uh, a virus arrives on a host cell. So over here we'll draw um, ourselves a little host cell, right? A uh, little host cell over here. And we have this one little um, bacteria, I mean a uh, virus cell here. A virus, you know, I'm on the legs. Um, I'm trying to make it look like a little virus, you know, okay. And as it arrives, it arrives on a specific um, receptor site. Say, for instance, this is our little receptor site. And it, it arrives exactly over here this receptor site and it acts as if it's a non-foreign material and the way it acts as if it's a non-foreign material is that before um, this lytic cycle there was an, uh, there was a time where this uh, specific virus used to be a daughter cell and as it broke out and as it um, light as it broke out of um, the ruptured cell from before um, it took some of the membrane, some of the, the protein membrane um, from the other cell. And as it approaches this um, new host cell, uh, this host cell doesn't see it as a virus. Rather, it sees it as an incoming protein or an incoming uh, membrane of another cell. And so it doesn't recognize it as a virus cell, and it does not chew it away. And so rather, it um, uh, binds to this... Um, specific receptor site and it, uh, it obviously binds on the surface of the host cell. And now we move on to step two of the lytic cycle where the virus, uh, let's draw this little host cell again, and we'll draw its nucleus right here. This is its um, nucleus right here. This is its nucleus. Um, basically what happens is this virus that we have over here, over this virus over here. As it comes over here, it injects its DNA. This is the virus DNA right here. The virus DNA. So this is the DNA, and this DNA shoots right into the nucleus along with, you know, the DNA of the host cell. Okay, the DNA. Just whatever, right? The DNA, the DNA of the host cell. The coat which is also known as the capsid, which is the protein outer layer of the virus. Inside is a genetic material. We'll put this in a different color, um, pink, right? This is the genetic material, and that would be it, right? So that would just uh, highlight this as the genetic material right here, and it shoots into here. This becomes a genetic material. And the outer shell, the capsid, stays on the outside of the membrane of the host cell. And inside, this DNA viral, this DNA of the viral uh, bacteria, of the, vi of the virus, uh, breaks down the host DNA. So it takes all these DNAs and it breaks them down into single-stranded DNA. Okay? So it becomes single-stranded DNA. Uh, so it moves on to step three. We'll move on to step three. I'll change the page here a bit. Um, it goes on to step three of the lytic cycle. And this is where the virus basically takes over the entire metabolic activities of the host cell. The way it does that, we'll draw our little host cell here in the nucleus. We have our um, original, we have our uh, virus DNA. And basically it goes through DNA replication and it combines with every single um, DNA chromosome um, or chromatid, uh, sister chromatid, whatever. Um, originally, it's called a chromosome, even if it's singular in this case. And it com DNA replicates with the DNA of the host cell. Okay, so let me draw this real quick. And here we go. That is um, taking over the met metabolic activities of the host cell. Then it goes on to step four, where it takes the materials of the host uh, cell 
uh, and the viral DNA directs the assembly of the new viral of the new viral parts. So basically, it takes the resources um, from uh, our uh, materials in this host cell, and it produces our little small little new um, virus cells. So it creates hundreds of them, uh, 100 to 200 to be exact. Um, um, is this my bad here? And it creates a whole bunch of them. Okay, and as the resources, and as we go on to step four, I believe we were on step four already. Um, this is step four as well, right here. Step four as well. And as these um, viruses basically, as these viruses basically um, start to break out of the host cell, the cell lysis, hence the, light, the lytic cycle, light for breakdown or destruction, or destruction, hence the lytic cycle. Um, and then the final, the final uh, phase, these new, these new uh, viruses um, are released and they spread and they go and they attack new cells. So this is basically the lytic cycle. Um, I just wanted to do a little brief overview of uh, viral replication. Um, so we'll do um, viral replication. Give me a second here. Um, that, uh, Viral replication. Okay, so we have our um, okay. So we have viral replication. Okay, so just going over it real quick um, how viral repli replication occurs. Um, really quick. Um, we first begin with, as I said, with um, uh, the lytic cycle, um, how um, our little DNA, our little virus uh, comes to be and it attaches itself to a specific receptor site on, on the host cell. Okay, so as it comes in, it either, it either becomes encompassed into this, um, cell and it either cell either encompasses it or it injects it for instance into a bacteria because of its hard outer membrane so that's how it begins and then it uh it goes ahead and um 